Hey everybody, Ben Zombie Life here. Today I'm going to show you how to track the moon. Now things may look a bit different in this video because it's currently night time and it's quite difficult to film the camera at, in the dark. Basically without light it's really really difficult to capture things that I would love to show you. Like the Dwarf 3 stacking the moon outside but I'll need a torch and that might interfere with the picture. But stick around and learn how to track the moon with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Once you have opened your Dwarf Lab app, you want to tilt the Dwarf 3 to the moon. And this makes the alignment process much easier to deal with. So right now there is two screens. One is a wide angle and one is the telescope. And we want to basically select the telescope one and align that with the moon, which is just below the crosshair. And we do that by using the digital controls on the lower left of your screen. Here are the controls. Just gonna pan it to the left and down. The screen is still up, we'll get rid of that in a second. So I just click the green tab on the left side to get rid of the screen. And we're lined up. I always like to pinch zoom in. And this is also zooming in on the Dwarf 3 telescope. Here we are just zooming in a bit more. And you can see actually the moon moving out of frame and this is because it's not actually tracking right now. So the moon is moving this quickly. And if you had a big telescope lens uh, on it for your camera, you could see this too. So I'm just adjusting the focus using the plus and minus buttons just to try and get a sharp, clear image of the moon. It's just moving quite quickly. So I have to pan the Dwarf 3 to the moon every time it moves away too much making it harder to focus on because it's not staying still. And that's okay, we can probably get around that by just tracking the moon itself, going for a focus from there. So this time I'm gonna tilt the camera down, uh, the moon down to the lower right of the screen, and we're gonna enable the tracking. So what you wanna do from here, and also check in the Atlas and Functions, uh, and just download any updates that come along, hit on the Search tab, and we want to basically find the moon. So there's a search column at the top. I've typed in moon. And there goes the tracker locating the moon. And I'm pretty happy with the way it's all set up. So here we are. So you'll see the tracker sort of tilting the moon backwards and forwards. And that's where it ends up. So that's it there. Next, you want to check your parameters and make sure you focus again or if you haven't already. Right, so we're at the top, one over 800th of a second, gain two, astro filter. Those are some really nice presets for space pictures. And then from here, you basically wanna just click the red button and let it initialize, and it's initializing. And after initializing, it'll start taking its picture and stacking the images. So when it says stacked one, that's kind of the very first picture that will be stacked with many to come. And throughout this video, I'll show you kind of how many stacked images there have been. And even right now I'm stacking and it's currently at 652 and the total is 999. So here we are, we're gonna leave it for a while and put it on a time-lapse just to speed things up. Yeah, so back at the computer, this is the moon currently stacking through the OBS software. I've got it recording at the moment, and this is what will be uploaded to Ben's Hobby Life channel. And I saw some requests to make this video, so I really hope this has helped. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the moon at the end of the video. Okay, so it's coming to about 205 stacked images. It's taken currently 999 images. But its total stacked volume is 999, so we're on 205 now. I kind of see how it looks at around 250 to 500. You probably don't need too much more detail than that. And also there's a good chance clouds might come back and everything like that. So I'll go outside and have a look at it, and we'll have a look at the picture at the end.
Yeah, so that's it for this How to Track the Moon with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. I hope you've learned something today and do it yourself if you have the device at hand. It's been really fun using the device and doing the live streams. Uh, quite often it's nice to just look at something without any sound and seeing something being processed and so forth. And uh, yeah, so please subscribe to this channel, Burn Toby Life, and please check out my other content if you're new. I've got short reel food vlogs, many of them. A few walks with my dog Bo. I do a lot of online gaming. Currently playing through the Resident Evil series, and much more to come. Basically, so subscribe. Thank you for your support anyway over the years, and hope you enjoy the video. See you on the next one.